Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Morning everyone. Welcome back to the Finca. Yes. Um, it's our anniversary today, our fourth anniversary from uh, when we acquired the, well I can't say we acquired the keys to the Finca yeah, because we didn't any. have any. <laughs> we just tied shut with a piece of string in the door. <laughs> <laughs> but it's four years since we signed for the house and took ownership. So. Um, We've been looking at some pictures because you forget, um, you know, you think, crikey, we've been here four years and we don't seem to be getting Still anywhere. Still a building size. <laughs> um, but we started looking back at the pictures and it is actually incredible how far we've come. Yes, we've impressed ourselves, haven't yes, we? Yes, just two people. Your pats on the back all around. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so we thought, as we didn't start videoing till, ooh, a couple of so years in. Two really, years in, yeah, yeah. yeah the, um, some of you guys won't have seen um, how it was and, and what we've done to it. So we thought Yes, it's unseen footage. Yes. Isn't it? Right, right might, from day one. Yeah. So we thought you might be interested in having a look at uh, what it was like when we first came. And um, yeah, obviously. That, in fact, what it's we'll like. start off with when the day we got the scissors to cut the string. <laughs> yeah. um, we took pictures of all the place, obviously, you know. Just as yeah. in the condition it was actually in um, when we first well walked and we didn't move in for a bit but when yeah. we first came in so here you go We had no permissions, of course, no. so there was very little we could do. But That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> but just a major clean-up operation, really. The place was full of rubble, where the chimney had fallen in. Well, you see from the pictures. Yeah, the place had been empty for 85 years, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was it was filthy and yeah. it's a bits of falling down and stuff. It was starting to fall down. Um, so yeah, all we could do at that point in time was um, clean, up. clean it up and, and of course assess the place and take a proper look at everything, yeah. see what we were up against. Well this was a discovery as well, wasn't it? Certainly was, it was absolutely covered in debris. I suppose all the rotten leaves over the years off this oleander tree, we all know what that's like. Um, started to sweep and all of a sudden underneath it was no idea beautiful there. paving stones as a result absolutely fantastic and as a bonus we had this massive hole in the wall it's about five foot tall and went right in underground because that's where the ground level is where the wall isn't um, so we thought we'd better fill it up because we didn't want it falling down it was a bit precarious and it was sagging in at the top 
So all the rubble from the clear out went into that hole and we slowly stoned it up and kept filling it and consolidating, packing it full. And um, yeah, we're, it's not going to fall down now. We're pretty pleased with the end result, as you can see. And the next thing we thought we could do, bearing in mind we still no permissions at this point in time, um, there were some serious cracks in the workshop wall. And if you looked at it from the outside, it, from halfway up it was leaning out. Um, there was a big gap about two inches along the top. Yeah. Um, that had been caused by, there were two olive lintels in the wall. You could sort of see them on the pictures, half buried. Why they were there, we don't we know. We don't know, but they were completely <laughs> rotten and obviously that's where the and problem... And there was stone underneath, yeah, but because they only went halfway through the wall, they, they obviously don't have the compression that stone's got, because it's wood, and it was, what, 150 years old? Yes. <laughs> um, so the wall had actually started to lean out, because it had stone on this side and olive on this side, it started to lean out a bit. So um, we... We had to take them out basically. Get them out and stone it up and it yeah. hasn't moved since. We measured every crack on the day we moved in and yeah. wrote on the wall next to the crack <laughs> how big it was to make sure the place wasn't moving. Yeah. And um, it, well, it hasn't it moved hasn't since. Moved. And you so, may notice from the pictures the white um, drips down that exterior wall. Um, we looked online, didn't well, we? Well, I watched a, a few really videos. interesting, it was repairing some Italian um, Very cathedral old or something. Stone yeah, and the cathedral. Yeah, the stone masons, they were, they were actually pouring lime down the top, or what, inside the walls to consolidate yeah. the walls. A sort of very runny um, consistency. Yeah. Literally, we had a funnel and a jug and we're pouring it down, but of course, it, when it got to the <laughs> point where it couldn't <laughs> it go anywhere else, out. it came out the holes. So <laughs> that's why we got the stripes down the wall. Managed to get it off with some agua fuerte. As you will but, see. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you're wondering if why you're wondering that what is. That, yeah. As you know, we're completely off grid, um, and so we had no water, no sewage, um, no electricity to the property. Nothing. Um, we still had no permissions in place, but we figured we could do things like... We were getting like frustrated by this point, Very frustrating. We? <laughs> um, we figured we could do things like put a septic tank in and run the, the pipe work for the water. Um, yes, we got all the it out, tension. Put it in and cover it up again, and nobody had ever known. All the electric cables <laughs> in, all the water cable, all water cables, water pipes in, everything underground. And we yeah. decided to do that. We took a chance on that. Uh, as it turned out, it was fine. Right. Um, but what a mission it was with that septic tank. We hit a bag of bedrock. So, Absolutely. So, Even the digger couldn't get through. So it. we had to actually we had to actually put a pumping station in to pump the waste. Um, yeah. It's not, not ideal, but it's not an unusual thing to no, do. it works. Go away, little fly. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, it works. While he was there um, doing all his digging, we got him to dig the new driveway entrance. Um, you can see the drive there. No sign that anything has been done. Um, this meant we could drive, enter there, go out the other end and vice versa. It made it so much easier with the trailer and stuff. Um, we put a couple of big massive sleepers in the ground um, to mark it out. We're going to put a gate on it eventually one day, um, but it's just got a chain across it for now. <laughs> um, that's the pumping station I was talking about earlier and that pumps it up to the, to the septic tank. And there it is, New Year's Eve. At the end of that, we had um, waste going into the house and water going into the house and everything, which was good. The only thing that was missing was electric. Yeah. So we took another gamble and um, decided to install the solar, the solar panels, panels and put the inverter and eventually the batteries in. Did we say we had water? We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we got the, the pipe working for the water. Of course, yes. at this point, we didn't have any. We water. decided to use um, the old wine tank. Yes. Use a feature of the building for yeah. our water. Processing, purification, yes. tank, storage. If you remember our tank. workshop was originally a bodega, so we got the old press in there and we had a huge tank that the wine used to go into, which was ideal for us to collect the water. Apart from the fact that it leaked. Yes, <laughs> there was that. So, so, as you can see, we, we had to fix all that up and everything. And um, then we put all the, bearing in mind all the pipes and the electric cables into the house, we put all the filters in. All we had to do was connect them up and um, we could have water, purified water, into the house. Yeah. So with all our basic services in place, yeah. um, the best bit, 
we had, we needed a workshop. Needed one. Had Andy to, needed a had workshop. Had to have one. Yes, we've got so many tools and things. As you, if you've been watching the videos, you'll yeah. know. And somewhere to work, we build all our own doors, all our own shutters. We make everything we possibly can. The only thing we do, haven't made is the windows because I couldn't make them um, for the price that no. we, we were able to buy them for. But that's another story. Watch the other videos. <laughs> um, so yeah, the first thing was to do was to get the workshop done basically yeah. to give us a space where we could start creating what you see here. Yeah. Which was a major job, it was full of it all was. sorts of rubbish. Oh, I'd have the old things, the big stones that the wine bars used to sit on and things. Yeah. It was, lots and lots of old pieces of wood, which we've mm. reused, you will have seen from previous videos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also in the workshop we built um, the separate room with a mezzanine on top um, that was going to house all the, the, the services, like the control room, yeah. all the solars in there, the water stuff's in there all separate you know so it's not likely to get damaged when we're grinding welding yeah. sawing cutting beating things up doing whatever we do yes yeah, so after the workshop we were moving to the house eh? we had everything everything in place everything all the basic fundamental things you need for a house apart from a toilet yes so that's what we did <laughs> we're gonna behind us we're, in the, we're actually in the hayloft at the minute and um, behind us is the, our upstairs bathroom and we thought it's logical because the old chute where they used to drop the hay down yeah. into the hay off there was already a hole in the floor so we thought we might as well run all the services up there the waste coming down um the sewage pipe the waste pipe the soil pipe and the extractor because we've got an extracting system yeah. that links up from downstairs to upstairs we thought we put the whole lot through that hot hole and put a downstairs link yeah. in the corner where it's logical yes. so the two are linked and it goes outside so that's what we did by this by this time we thought we'd uh well we pretty much cracked it really <laughs> we had everything we needed um so the next logical step we were going to build this apartment up here for us to live in while we worked on the rest of the house yeah and um, we wanted somewhere clean somewhere where we could sleep shower etc etc yeah. um but obviously before you start doing anything on the building you want to make sure it's dried in yeah. Um, so the next step was the roof. the roof, water job that was as well. And um, the wall on the outside, um, that was only a single skin wall, that was in a terrible yeah, and it condition. hadn't been pointed at all. Oof, it was um, nightmare, wasn't it? So water was coming in there, um, in fact, in just above the um, back door, um, downstairs, the stones had all moved and completely opened up and there was a massive damp patch on the wall in the apartment what was going to be the apartment and um, obviously <laughs> we didn't want it. yeah we needed to to sort that out so we fixed so it and fixed at it. the same time did that main portion of the house roof because it, it tied in to that and the rest of the roof comes later so yeah um, another big job done The main part of the apartment roof was a little more straightforward, just taking the tiles off, foamed them all in place, a bit of insulation as well as holding them firm. And then um, that water tank um, where we did the other wall, um, you can see in any second after we get past the roof, uh, where that was destined to go, uh, as close as possible um, to where the hot water was going to be needed in all parts of the house. That's the frame up. And, um, the tank in all in place and now uh, ready for action. So with that done, with the roof done, with no water coming in. Moving <laughs> inside, um, where we're sitting now was a solid wall, and this thick. This thick. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> this are two separate rooms. This this room entered through the small door we used, and there was another door here which was about this like tall. a three quarter door we used to have to get a step ladder step out ladder to get out in and, and out crawl through it and yeah. stuff but there um, were no windows um it was very dark as you can imagine so that was the next step really to get a door that we could access this room and some windows make some holes for the windows knock this through um there's two railway sleepers up there holding yes. the thing up that we milled down with the chainsaw Five that chains later, <laughs> see it's done. And, um, but that enabled them to open the space up so we could access through, right through. But yeah, another monstrous job. Yeah.
What we did um, initially is put um, some needles through the wall and acroed them up. Um, dug a channel so we could get the sleeper in place. Um, that's one side, the bathroom side. Made the doorway big enough so we could put a door on it. Um, that's the other side. They were um, ready to receive the sleeper. It's not in there yet. It is now. And um, then that enabled us to be able to take the wall down once we um, packed up above it. Take the wall down and um, open up the, the space for us. And there it is. Um, we can now get through. It's a momentous occasion. Um, the new door's on. And the new door on this little door at the top of the stairs, the other entrance. And we started making the holes for the windows. That one was bigger than we wanted it to be originally, so we had to stone all that one up. And there it is in place, pretty much finished. And the bathroom one was next. There was not even a window there to start off with, so we had to knock a hole right through the wall, um, as we did with the bedroom as well. And the bathroom when you're in. And yeah, it started off with a square door on the wall, the size of the window. Um, <laughs> eventually opened it all up. And the window was in with its own little new lintel as well. And there it is. Um, just missing shutters now. So, with that done, um, this I'm feeling tight thinking about big it. room <laughs> here was going to be the bedroom and the bathroom, but obviously we needed to divide it, we needed to put a dividing wall in to separate the two. Um, and make a hallway. And make a hallway here, well. here. Um, and the, this main wall was leaning slightly, we noticed, which was pretty worrying. I think it's so, a, this roof's lower. So I think the weight of this roof pushing on it for years, um, it, yeah. at some point it's, it's moved it, we don't know when, but not taking any chances. No, we braced it with um, a great big piece of wood. Is Andy this a temp did it. temporary? <laughs> Andy did it whilst I was in the UK and I came back and I said, oh, I really like that. He said, it's only <laughs> temporary. I said, I want to keep it. So that is this main beam that you see from the pictures going across yeah. The dividing wall. Cleaned it up, stained it, oiled it. Looks yeah, looks really nice. And works, yeah. So then we needed to get on with the bathroom itself. Um, this is the mezzanine floor that Andy put in, so that's the roof on the bathroom. Stud walls gone in there, you can see the shower tray, the toilet, um, the vanity basin. Um, making the shower cubicle itself. Getting the walls done eventually. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't easy with that diagonal piece Getting either. The electrics in that hallway. Yeah, electrics, ceiling, finished, um, building the shower cubicle. That was a mission as well, wasn't it? It was indeed. Especially, I'm not the best tiler in the world. Um, but there we go, it's coming on. They're in place, finally. Starting on the tiles, and that was a mission because they were all handmade, so mm -hmm. none of them were exactly yeah. the same size. <laughs> That's the electrics and services coming up from downstairs, and there's the end result. Finally, in order for us to be able to move in, we needed somewhere to sleep, of course. So the bedroom was the last thing that we tackled up here before we moved in. So that was June 2021. 2021. And yeah. we were still sleeping on the floor at that point, <laughs> even when we moved in for a few weeks because we we didn't have the beds in place. Um, but yeah, so the bedroom, hours and hours and hours of painting that ceiling, oiling those beams. Oh, my the beams. Goodness. The beams. <laughs> yeah. And we got a mezzanine in there above the bathroom as well, which gives us another ton of storage Great space. Great storage space. So we've got all our basic comforts mm -hmm. up here, home comforts, camping, it's like camping. We were camping <laughs> for many, many months. We, um, the next step, what year are we on here now? 21? 20... 21, 21, 20, yes. 20, 21 we're on yeah. now, yeah. Um, we decided, we needed to think in ahead for the future and while we were doing all the demolition and, and rubble making stuff, um, the, the doorway from the kitchen through to what's going to be the dining room and from the dining room 
towards the bar area wow. in the main house, they were really low and um, I had a look at lifting them. Tried, tried to uh, not. Yeah, them. but it was no way. But we we, we'd to like to leave the features. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so we actually decided to dig out the floor, and although the floors were sort of level, there was still a step up. At one end as well, so they were So we just we just got um, a digger in. We got Eddie inside in again. Good old Eddie. And um, dug the floor out basically. And the next thing we needed to put a door on the corral. The old door was tiny, yeah, wasn't it? It was tiny, and, and there was um, no glass in it. When we looked at it, was very dark. It was, yeah. Yeah. Um, when we looked at it, there was a massive old wooden round olive or something olive, little, I think it was higher up than where the door frame was. So we thought that we got the French doors and built the shutter for yeah. it, but they were quite tall, modern things, and um, it just worked out so well. We took the floor down in there and took the frame out, and it actually matched up perfectly yeah. to this massive olive beam, which you can still see. Um, and that obviously made the place more secure as well because we were still on the string at this point, I think, yes. <laughs> yes. or wedges in the doors. <laughs> Having secured the corral then, the next thing was to have some kind of kitchen. We've got the bedroom and the bathroom upstairs, but that was it. And we needed somewhere to cook and wash up. Um, so we decided the old corral was going to be our utility room. Um, mm -hmm. Andy put in a temporary sink for me and um, finished off the, the toilet, because the toilet was just in the corner with no room at all. So we needed to make a room yeah, to put the toilet in. It was very private, that's when guests came. <laughs> and so yeah, I made some benching and um, got my washing machine and my fridge freezer in place. And uh, yeah. Yeah, um, we will say lived happily ever after, but we're still going. <laughs> Well, that brings us into 2022. Yes, <laughs> um, 18 months ago. <laughs> which was when we decided to make the apartment a bit more livable. Obviously, yeah. bedroom and bathroom was done, but we didn't <laughs> have any facilities up here for eating. We got the cooking. timing all wrong, though. We planned to do the apartment in the summer when it was red up yeah. outside and cooler in here, and do the courtyard in the win in the winter when it was. Cool outside, <laughs> but it didn't go like that. But. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, we did, we just did it, and um, we needed we put a cooker in here, didn't we? A sink, and there's a there's a fly in here. Crikey, get him out after. Um, made it sort of livable, less less of the camping effect. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Put the fire in. Don't forget the very important log burner. Yes, of course. Yes, and so yeah, that kind of sorted this out for us and yeah. made it a bit more um, habitable. Yeah, we also did all the line washing, made the step and things, and finished yeah, it all. Yeah, finish point in these exposed walls. <laughs> yeah, it was a mission. And then back downstairs. Yes. The back door, door. was so low; it was only about here, <laughs> and um, it was pretty dangerous. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't continuously people, banging our heads. And guests and visitors when they came as well. Yeah. Um, so that was a bit of a mission too. One, we had to hack all the floor up. I had to make a steel lintel. Yeah. Um, to envelop the, the ends of the joist so it, we could get the maximum height. Yeah. Because um, even then it's, it can just get through it now. You, you're all right. I'm all right. I just have to duck a little bit now, but it's a lot better than it was. We can't go any higher unless we dig out the floor and then we'll end up with a, yeah. a little pool when it rains or something like that. We don't want that. No. So, But it's acceptable. Yes. We put a stable door on it. We've got a nice stable door so we can have the top open to let the breeze through. And yes. Yeah. We don't tend um, to use it though, do we? No, we just, just leave it just stays open. open all the time, most of the time. <laughs> but even the idea was in nice. In winter. Yes, <laughs> smashing it is though. So then, to ease the camping effect even more, <laughs> we decided to do the old corral. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, where well, you've seen it before, it was just a camping just thing. Just a bench with a camping put, stove. Yeah, on new the top. windows in it, we had to do. All the walls needed raking out and raking out, and pointing, pointing and line, line washing. washing. The beams, oh, cleaning, cleaning the, the beams. beams. That was your favourite job this loved that year, it, wasn't loved it? it. Yeah, best job cleaning of the Cleaning the beams and then, of course, oiling them um, and putting some cabinets in yes, there. Yes, we built all the cabinets, put the, the lids on the lids on the troughs because the trough. they're brilliant for storage. And obviously, the original feature we wanted to keep um, them. It did, and it, it, took, it actually took quite a long time to do that, didn't it? couple of months was oh, it? I don't know. Probably more. It went on and on and on forever and ever <laughs> and ever. It seemed like forever. Um, but we're really really pleased with the yeah, end result. It works really well. It's working well. We're still undecided what to do with the floor. 
Um, it's a it's like a pebble stone floor, but it slopes as well. Um, I really like it, and we're yes. getting used to it now. The fact that it's not level, nothing's level in this house. We thought about putting resin over it, but we've done some resin samples in other places, and it tends it, to crack on, it after a while. On that kind of floor, oh yeah, it's yeah. Is there any moisture gets it's under? It's not it a stuff. problem. It's, Get down on my hands and knees. But um, we'll probably end up cleaner. just. It needs pointing up in a couple of places, just do it slowly as yeah. it needs it. Yeah. Uh, but right for now it works, so it's not a major issue, yeah. is it? And we're very, very pleased again yeah. with the end result on that. Yeah, yeah another important job we got done um, 22 is our solar upgrade, the final upgrade. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic, the system we've got. Um, we put more panels in um, that were kindly donated to us by Fortuna Logica. Thanks, guys. Um, uh, we put a lithium battery Change on it, a five, battery five kilowatt batteries. lithium battery, and we've just got tons and tons of power. Yeah. You know, even on the shortest day, yeah. in the middle of winter, yeah. and we also um, replaced the generator with an auto start diesel one. And the other one we had was petrol, and you have to actually physically yeah. start it, which was a pain. And you, you know. It's not happened yet, but in the middle of the night, if the battery did go so low, um, we risk, you know, ruining the battery. So that will kick in automatically. We don't have to get up and physically do it. Yeah, it just does it all itself. It's yeah. fantastic. But it re very rarely runs because of the panels that we've got. But if we get successive cloudy days, you know, the batteries eventually run down. Any Anyone's batteries yeah. will eventually. So it's there as a backup. And um, we put a little hut for it, didn't we? We did. Put a, put a pad down for it. Little roof on it. Little house it? it's got. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that was a big, you know, a big accomplishment for us that year. What was next? Then, <laughs> the dreaded courtyard. Never ending courtyard. <laughs> Which is still ongoing now, you know if you've been watching us regularly. Um, but yeah, we first of all needed to open up that um, the wall had originally had a door in it and it just seemed logical for us to open that up, put a gate in there um, because when we were in and out with wheelbarrows and great big heavy stones yeah. to make that yeah. pathway. We had to build a um, ramp outside as well, some stones yes. outside to facilitate everything coming in. Yeah. Um, yeah, we made the, put the big path down, didn't we first? And, we didn't know how far we were going to get with it. No, um, we ran we out of stones. Up to the barbecue <laughs> area, which was good because then we could build the lovely barbecue area yes. with the bench, and we even built ourselves a, a smoker queue, as it's become known as. Um, it's a smoker that doubles as a barbecue. Oh, Fantastic. Put a little shade roof over that, and then we ran out of stones. We were unde undecided what to do with the the main. But, but, Area, if As you you'll know, know if you're watching now, you'll see it. We, we, we've it we've bitten the bullet and <laughs> it's all going to be stone. Yeah. Oh, we put a little fence up and a gate. A little fence and a to gate. To try and yep. keep Jesse a bit more contained <laughs> when we were working, and obviously the <laughs> main gate was open, we're in and out with stones. Kept Jesse uh, out. Out of the way, out yeah. Out of the way. And um, finally, we put um, a roof on the chicken, the yes, old so chicken we've got shed. A nice, dry place to keep our wood. Um, for the wood we we might even barbecue. turn it into a little bar area as well, perhaps. We're thinking about it. Eh? Uh, bench, uh, of course. Bench, the bench as well. The bench, which <laughs> we've now made into a seat as well. So, yeah, we're currently still working on that, as you'll see shortly. But um, we're definitely on a mission to get that done this summer, aren't we? Definitely, yes. We definitely need a nice living area outside, a nice big chunky table, which is another project for Andy. It's all coming up. <laughs> And of course, the roof on the main building. Andy had worked on the apartment roof, um, but we did actually get some guys in to help us to make sure that the main building was watertight and to save the walls, really. Yeah, it's too big a job for one person. <laughs> yeah, so. But yeah, basically, that's all done. It's all lovely and neat. It's all watertight. It is. Save the building. Which brings us to 2023. This year. <laughs> what have we done this year? This year, well, we put this floor down in the apartment and finally um, put a wooden insulated floor down in the apartment. And we're still not completely finished this, but. Still needs skirting boards and a few trims around the place. It can wait until we get a couple of wet days. But or it's something. certainly been a lot warmer with the floor in. And comfortable, yes. Comfortable. We, don't, we can take our shoes off now and not have to walk about on the whole concrete floor. <laughs> Um, yes, so yeah, that'll be finished off 
soonish. Won't say when we get some wet days or something like that, which is not looking very likely. And of course, after 18 months, I finally got my walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to empty all those bags of stuff and get oh, all my clothes hung, yeah, we, which they was were just great. All over the floor, we needed yeah. to clear the floor. So, yes, the walk-in wardrobe. Yes. Was about, it nice sliding, very well sliding door on it as well, yeah. Door. My gift to you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much brings us to where we are now, yeah. back in the courtyard. It's been, I mean, those have been, you've been watching recent videos because a lot of the later stuff is in videos because we, yeah. we started sort of halfway through but um the mission endless job of pointing the walls pointing pointing and more pointing they were they're in a terrible state and yeah. how they stayed up some of them we don't know but they did and they're all fixed now at least on one side and we've started putting the, the, main patio the stone and, um, floor down which is coming along nicely it, it shouldn't is. be too long before that's finished yeah. and then we can start to enjoy our, our patio outdoor area. living area, yes. Yeah. Um, so, yes, um, that's currently what's happening, currently what our videos are on, so if you can watch those and follow our progress yeah. on that. And as we're up to present, we can't really go any further. <laughs> so, Brings us to the end of this video, folks. A um, natural end. I hope you found it interesting. As I say, it was only because we started to go through our own pictures the other day to see what yeah. we'd actually done, because you do forget. And, and we so thought, much of the work hasn't yeah, been covered in our videos. That's right, and because we didn't start filming until quite quite a way into the project, um, you guys went to see a good. lot of it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it. Yes, it thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing to the channel. You've seen that it's not everything we've done, but the main parts of it, yeah, isn't it? And if you want to follow us now, please subscribe to the channel and yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll see, see you on, you on Sunday. 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 <laughs>